Well, welcome to the Global Sports Channel for the day two wrap up of the Australia versus India test match at the SCG. My name's Phil Wishart and I'll be taking you through all of the action from today's play. And we'll be doing daily highlights every day on the Global Sports Channel, so you can check them out at the end of day's play or before the start of the next day's play. Before we get into the day two action, let's take a quick recap of who was in the Australian and Indian teams for this test. Both teams saw two replacements for the third test. For Australia, Dave Warner was back in the squad returning from a groin injury going into the opening slot to replace Joe Burns. Will Pekofsky was on debut, which meant Matthew Wade moved down the order, replacing Travis Head, who hasn't been scoring a lot of runs of late. For the Indians, Rohit Sharma came back in to give the Indian team a big batting boost up in the opening spot. He replaced Agarwal. And there was a debutant, Navdeep Saini, who's come into the team, replacing the injured Umesh Yadav. Well, Australia started the day at 2 for 166 with Manus Labashain and Steve Smith at the crease. And it was a frustrating morning of play. My predictions about the weather getting better didn't come true. And after 11 overs, we were off with another rain delay. And then a second rain delay before lunch. So a little bit slow going in terms of play in the morning. As you can see on the radar, there was only patchy rain, just enough to annoy everybody. So I did the responsible thing and took to Twitter to see what people were saying. Uh, there was frustration from the fans as well, but also some pretty good memes from the IPL teams uh, that weren't too happy about the rain delays staying up uh, to watch the test match. We did get to see plenty of practice of the covers going on and off, just like this from the SCG ground staff, who've had to do it a fair bit over the last 12 or 13 months uh, with test matches and the women's T20 semi-final and the Big Bash final in 2020. Now going into this match, Australia hadn't scored 300 runs against the Indians in their last six tests on Australian soil, and no Australian had scored a century. So these are the big questions going into the second session as to whether they would happen. And we did get those answers. Steve Smith was able to score a century off 201 balls. As we said, a lot of talk about his lack of form leading into the test, but he's clearly back in great touch, uh, scoring all over the ground. The rest of the Australian team, on the other hand, didn't look in such great nick with Captain Tim Payne going for one, being bowled by Boomer. The ball uh, snuck in between his bat and pad and took the off stump. Pat Cummins was around for 13 balls without scoring before he went for a duck. Then we had Mitchell Stark come in. He had an entertaining inning scoring 24, including two fours and a six, uh, but he was caught at mid-off off off the bowling of Saini. It was an entertaining knock, uh, but it wasn't enough, as we saw Jadeja back in the thick of it for the final two wickets. Firstly, he got Nathan Lyon trapped plum LBW, and then his final wicket, he was able to get a run out for Steve Smith to end the Australian innings, and they finished up on all out for 338 runs. So let's take a look at the scoreboard for the Australian team. And it's an interesting looking scorecard for the Australians and very different to what we have seen in the first two test matches. Finally, a few batsmen have scored some runs up the top of the order with Pekofsky scoring 62 on debut, Labashain getting so close to that century on 91 and Steve Smith back in form for 131, the last man to be dismissed with the run out from Judasia. But three ducks in the middle of the order and the tail enders is never going to be good for your batting. And in fact, Australia lost eight for 132 after a great start on day one. For the Indian bowlers, Jadeja was the star of the show with four for 62 and also taking that critical run out at the end of the innings. Bumra continued to keep up his wicket taking form here in Australia, taking two for 66 and also was really devastating with the new ball, uh, very responsible for keeping the Australians to low scores throughout the middle order and the tail end. And the deputant Saini took two for 65. He was a little bit expensive, but great to take a couple of wickets on debut, and he'll be better for his first innings in Test cricket. The Indian openers started strongly with Rohit Sharma back in the team at the top of the order. He looked in great form along with Gill over those first 10 or so overs, but Sharma was gone for 26 runs, caught and bowled off Hazelwood, the big man getting down nice and low there. Gill also went in the final session of the day after scoring his half century. He was out for 50 runs, caught in the slips, caught him by Cameron Green off the bowling of Pat Cummins. So the Australians had a little fight back towards the end of the day as we look at the scorecard to see how the end of play finished up. 
As we end day two in response to Australia's 338, India finished the day on two for 96 off 45 overs. Gill and Sharma out for 50 and 26, and the batsmen currently at the crease are Pajara and Rahane on 9 and 5. Fairly low strike rates for both of those batsmen. They're going to need to get a move on on day three if we're going to see a result from this game. For the Australians, the wicket takers were Hazelwood and Cummins, and four wickets for Pajara in the Australian batting innings. And looking at who won the day after I awarded day one to Australia, day two was definitely India's day. Those three wickets in the first session definitely set up their morning. Jadeja was on fire with the four wickets, claiming Labashan to break that partnership before getting Wade and Cummins really cheaply in that set up that collapse with eight for 132, the Australians to be all out for 338. Despite the fact Australia had a late fight back with the ball, Taking a few wickets, I think it's pretty evenly poised now after day two, but it was definitely India winning the day. Well, that wraps up day two action at the Sydney Test Match. A pretty exciting day of cricket with both sides having their opportunities with bat and ball. Don't forget to like, share and follow Global Sports Channel and you can tune in tomorrow for all the day three action as we celebrate Jay McGrath Day at the Pink Test. Thanks very much for watching and look forward to catching up with you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.